What's up YouTube? This is Furion29. I'm here to do an unboxing of the ASRock FM2A85X Extreme 6 motherboard. This is for the uh, A10, the AMD A series, A10, A8, A6, and A4. Uh, it does have uh, X boot, which is great. And if you don't know what that is, it's just going to uh, before your BIOS loads up, just keep pressing X, and uh, you'll automatically uh, activate the X boost on it. And what that does is it'll load Windows in 1.5 seconds. So uh, you can log in really fast. And uh, I'll get in a little more with that here in just a minute. But I wanted to uh, go ahead and do this unboxing for you because I noticed there hasn't been one on YouTube just yet since this is a newer technology. Uh, we got the five XFast here. We got the uh, five times XFast Lane, XFast USB, and XFast RAM. Uh, it supports A10, A8, A6, A4, Windows 7 compatible. It does support Windows 8. And it's got an AMD Crossfire ability. And uh, we'll get into that a little later when we get into the build. I'll, I'll do an unboxing of the uh, A10, which I'll be getting next week. Uh, let's go ahead and just show you a few things about the board. It is an ATX FM2 socket. DDR3 at 2600 overclocked, which is crazy. Uh, it's got three PSIs, uh, 2.0 by 16s, uh, two PSI Express, 2.0 by 1, and two PCIs. 7.1 channel HD audio. It's got seven SATA 3, one eSATA A3, six USB 3.0s, and eight USB 2.0s. Then we also have the uh, specifications. See if I can zoom in a little bit here. We can see it a little better. Sorry if it's a little blurry. I'm having to use my uh, cell phone today. So uh, without further ado, let's get this bad boy open. See what we got inside. And right off the bat, we've got some uh, paperwork here. Virtual M uh, MVP. It's a program that comes with it. It's a good trial program. You should check it out. And this does have the UEFI BIOS system, so uh, you can actually use your mouse in the BIOS, which is fantastic. Here's some more information about the board, about the XFast, the three fives here. And we'll read in a little more with that. Uh, this particular board was one, our, uh, $99 on uh, Newegg right now with $7.87 shipping which is a very odd number but uh, we've got the uh, manual here for the software setup you know so for the UF, UEFI and everything some notes for the back we've got the back plate here and it does not have the cushiony back part so have to be a little careful with your fingers. Let's see here. We got uh, some more SATA cables and a few more SATA cables. Ooh, and here is the uh, manual for the uh, motherboard here. Quick installation guide seems a little thick, so uh, we'll go through that and we'll see how it is after we get it programmed. And uh, we've got the drivers, which you should just toss those and get the updated drivers online. All right, without further ado, let's get this board out of here. All right. And right off the bat, I can see, let's set it off to the side. Close this box up. Set it on top of the box here. Having to do this one handed is really difficult. Okay, there's the end. And automatically, I can just see how great this board looks. I mean, it looks awesome. I'm going to hold that with my chin. 
for a second. Oops, dropped it. Sorry about that, guys. Give me one second. I'll set this down. So we can get this board out so you can look at it. And without further ado, give you a nice good close-up of the board here. FM2 socket looks fairly easy. You've got your digi power here, all gold caps. Looks really amazing. And another reason why I bought this is the case that I've got, which is right there, is the V3 Thermotake Black Edition with a uh, 600 watt Thermotake power supply. I have got at least five fans going to be going on this motherboard so I wanted to make sure I had enough slots and as you can see right down here we got a slot for a fan we've got the onboard power buttons which is fantastic we got some more heat sinks now this particular board which is nuts will hold up to uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM of DDR3 and then you overclock that to 2600 it's just insane that's great that's fantastic I'm very very excited to try these new uh, uh, AMD uh, A10 processors the APUs I'm very excited to give them a shot and see what they can do so uh, but as far as I can see guys this board looks fantastic it's great color schemes everything is listed very very wonderfully and placed in a great position I mean you couldn't ask for a better board you've got your SATAs over here more SATAs all your USB plug-ins PCI Express in which the spacing of these are great so this supports Crossfire and Crossfire X now with this board too I don't know if uh, I'm pretty sure you know this if you're watching this video but the AMD A10 or A8 you know is the two I prefer uh, well Crossfire if you get a um, the A8 and the A10 if you get a Radon HD 6670 and put it in this slot right here you have to go into your BIOS switch it over and everything but these two will automatically crossfire this the GPU in the CPU will crossfire with your graphics card to give it a boost which is phenomenal and fantastic I love that because you can do a cheap build but have premium power the A10 you know it has a turbo boost of 4.2 gigahertz without even overclocking it and the fact is that actually the the stock fan that you get with the A10 you can actually overclock it the actual CPU on the stock fan so I love that I love that I love that feature on it but uh, Let's see here if you can kind of peek and see all the uh, the DVI and everything, the USB plugins, HDMI, SATAs, FireWire, HD, analog, digital, optical. I love it. It's a fantastic board. I'm very excited, and I can't wait to see what it'll look like in my uh, in my new V3 here. And we'll do a video uh, real quick showing all the fans installed and the power supply installed. And then when we get the A10 in, we'll, uh, we'll put all that together on here, show you a video how to put your CPU in, heat sink on, the whole works. So we'll get you fixed up and uh, leave a comment, subscribe down below, and uh, you guys have a good day. Thanks, YouTube.